Welcome back to Keeping Up in Disney. We're super excited. We've got reservations tonight for... Chef Art's Homecoming. And we're on the way to Disney Springs now. We're super excited to try this restaurant, so we'll see you there. We made it to Disney Springs, and now we're gonna make our way to Homecoming. We're crossing the bridge, and we can see Homecoming over there, so we will be there in just one moment. Made it to Homecoming. They also do have this outdoor shine bar and social section, but we are here for the main restaurant portion, so we're gonna go check in for our reservation, and we'll meet you at the table. We're here at our table in Chef Art's Swiss Homecoming, and it's really, really nice in here. We've got a cool little view out on that cool Disney Springs blue water and the lake out there and Deluxe Burger across the way there. It smells amazing in here. We're gonna take a look at the menu and then we'll let you know what we're getting. The menu here is done through QR code as well and they have so much here at home coming. So a bunch of starters. We got like deviled eggs, green tomatoes, chicken biscuits. We got a bunch of salads. Their list of sides, like all comfort foods, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, Potatoes, collard greens, green beans, sweet potatoes, grits. You've got sandwiches, like a burger, chicken sandwich of course, a barbecue sandwich, some other clubs and a Cuban. And then we get to the main plates here. The fried chicken of course, the star of the show. So they've got the famous fried chicken plate. That's what Jamie actually ordered. The fried chicken and donuts, I got that. They have shrimp and grits, a kitchen plate, which is a sampling of sides, braised short ribs, which he said is one of the most highly recommended things here. Chopped pork barbecue, fried catfish, char-grilled chicken, and country fried steak. And they do have desserts that look amazing too. So there's the shine cake, which is a butter cake topped with moonshine syrup, which sounds really, really good. And the hummingbird cake, which is a pineapple banana cake. And we've heard it is absolutely amazing. So we might get that too, depending on if we're still hungry after the meal. Looks like it's gonna be a lot of food though. And of course, they have a huge moonshine menu. So they have a bunch of different moonshines on tap, cocktails, different things you can try. And so you can make your own moonshine and whiskey flights too, which is really cool and kind of fun with some of their awesome moonshines that they have. And some are even in-house moonshines. So our waiter said you'll only find them here. Those are gonna be the watermelon ones, the pineapple, and the lemon. A lot of the cocktails and the shines on tap are made with those moonshines. And then they have a bunch of different moonshine and other resort cocktails which look amazing. Jamie actually got the peach sangria, which should be super good. They have a bunch of different wines, reds and whites, beers, and cans. So there's really a lot going on at Homecoming. We're excited. So to start with drinks, Jamie ordered the peach sangria, which was recommended. He said it's one of the most popular items here on the menu as far as drinks go. It looks really good. So that's the peach sangria there. And then I got, this is called the 22 ounce big squeeze. So they put a cocktail in a bigger 22 ounce glass and it's actually kind of like a souvenir bottle that you can take with. And then refills on this 22 ounce are actually only $13. So the price of a 16 ounce cocktail, but filled in the bottle. And if you can see, there are actually different colors here. So the bottom is blue, the top is a purple. I actually combined on the bottom the blue hooch shine on tap with the rum shine punch. So the waiter said that this combination together is called the purple Lambo, and it's pretty well known. It looks amazing. He said the blue hooch is the strongest, the rum shine punch is the sweetest, so together they're a perfect pairing. I'm really excited to try the purple Lambo. We'll let you know how it is. The purple Lambo is amazing. I'm really a big fan of it. I'm gonna tell you what the two drinks are that are in the purple Lambo. So this drink is a combination of two of the shine on tap cocktails, the blue hooch and the rum shine punch. The rum shine punch is strawberry rum shine, blackberry brandy, banana liqueur, pineapple juice, and house made grenadine. And he said that one's one of the sweetest of the shines on tap. And then the blue hooch is blue flame moonshine, lemon infused moonshine, blue curacao, house made simple syrup, fresh lemon juice, and a splash of Sprite. The strongest shine on tap. So together between the two of those, it's like the sweetest and the strongest. They mix to make this perfect purpley cocktail. It's really tart, it's really delicious, it's really fruity. You've definitely got the hint of the moonshine in there. I'm a huge fan of it, I love this drink. Our food just came out, how does it look? It looks so good. So look at this. This is Jamie's classic fried chicken. She's got a lot of chicken on there. Got the big piece of the, I think it's like a white meat breast piece, and then two wings. 
creamy mashed potatoes, and a cheddar drop biscuit, which also looks really good. And then I've got mac and cheese here, my chicken, which looks awesome, and these donuts with some syrup. All together, this just looks like a phenomenal plate. I'm so excited. And my purple Lambo to drink with it. I'm about to try the mac and cheese. Look how cheesy this is, and look how amazing it looks. So I've now tried a bit of everything in my meal. I gotta say, I really don't even know what's the best. Well, I will say, for dinner right now, I'm really liking the chicken and the mac and cheese. The donuts are super good, but the chicken and the mac and cheese are definitely the highlights here. Everything is outstanding. This chicken might be some of the best chicken I've ever had in my life. As soon as I took a bite, I was sold. And again, just a long... Jamie said it's way better than KFC. Great review. And along with this purple Lambo, that shine on tap in this 22 ounce bottle, we are having a great meal. Are you having a good meal? We finished most of our drinks and food. Everything was delicious. We finished almost every bite of everything. And now you can see my cap for my sipper squeeze sitting there because I'm getting it refilled with the strawberry lemonade moonshine on tap. And I'm gonna try that, that looks amazing. And Jamie, so in the bottom of her white peach sangria, there were some peaches. She took one out and ate it. But instead she said it just tasted very strong of alcohol and moonshine. And then when our waiter came back to our table, he said, don't forget about the peaches in there. They're soaked in moonshine. <laughs> so that was a bit of a surprise, but we could kind of tell there. What would you? Yeah, Jamie, Jamie could totally tell. What would you give the drink overall? Like a 10. Honestly, my purple Lambo is like a 10 out of 10 too, and I love the big souvenir cup. I'll let you know how the strawberry lemonade is once it comes. And here is the strawberry lemonade. I'm about to try it. Our waiter did ask if we wanted dessert, and we said, I think we're way too full for dessert right now. So he handed me the cup and he said, liquid dessert. <laughs> I'm really excited. So we're getting ready to head out of homecoming. I just took a sip of my strawberry lemonade moonshine drink, and it's very good. I gotta say, I think I preferred the Purple Lambo, the drink that he recommended, the mix of the Rum Shine Punch and the Blue Hooch. It was amazing. I would definitely get the Purple Lambo again. I would get the Strawberry Lemonade again. It's really good too. Nothing wrong with it. It's pretty tasty, but the Purple Lambo wins for me. You can see the prices here, so. Jamie's drink was $13. Most of the cocktails are $13 at that same price. My first Rum Shine Punch was $22 because that came in the 22 ounce squeeze bottle, but then past that point, you can see my refill down there of the strawberry lemon. It's only 13, so you get the 22 ounce size in your squeeze bottle refill for only $13, and you can bring that back here whenever, so it's amazing. So we're gonna have to bring it to Disney next time. And the chicken dinner was 29, chicken and donuts were 30, so altogether that's our total price. Not bad at all for an amazing meal, amazing drinks. Probably some of the best food I've had in Disney World. So after homecoming, we are back at Art of Animation. We looked around in Disney Springs for a little bit after, but we wanted to give our kind of recap after homecoming to let you know what we thought. I really, really enjoyed homecoming. It was a year and a half, two years or more in the making that I wanted to go there. I knew I wanted the fried chicken. I really wanted to try that mac and cheese. Was unsure about anything else or what I would exactly get, so went with some of the waiter's recommendations. His name was Brandon, he was awesome. He definitely gave some great recommendations. So he did recommend the chicken and donuts, which is what I got. And then Jamie, what did you get? Mashed potatoes, biscuit, and yeah. And chicken, yeah. And chicken. And we showed it earlier on the video, but that was like one of the kind of signature plates of homecoming, like their famous fried chicken. Yeah, and then, I ate all of that. Yeah, I ate all of my chicken and donuts and mac and cheese too. I, maybe I left like half a donut because the donuts were a little sweet, but they were very, very good. It was an awesome kind of sweet and savory pairing. The mac and cheese was out of this world. The cheesiest mac and cheese I've ever had. And 
The top layer of the mac and cheese was like a fully melted cheese, just super cheesy to eat on it. And then you kind of broke through that and underneath was this extremely creamy, but also cheesy and delicious mac and cheese noodles. And it just paired perfectly with the cheese and the creaminess and the sauce. And the meal was outstanding. And the drinks were one of the best parts. I got the white peach sangria. How was it? It was very fruity and refreshing. And how are the moonshine soaked peaches? Strong. And I went with Brandon's recommendation for my first drink. I got the purple Lambo, which was a mix between the blue hooch and the rum shine punch. It was amazing. Definitely recommend trying that. He said if you call it the purple Lambo, they will know what that means. So. You can just order it like that. All the workers there know what it means. Yeah, he said that's what they drink. <laughs> he said that's their favorite. And then also my second drink was the strawberry lemonade, which was very good too, but I preferred the purple Lambo. But overall, I, I would give Homecoming like honestly a 10 out of 10. There was not a single thing I could critique about it. The, yeah, it was mind blowing. It was very mind blowing. The price point was, I mean, it's a little higher, it's a little more up there. Each plate is gonna be like 25 to $30. Appetizers are like 15. Drinks are 10 to 15 as well. But they do have some really cool options like moonshine flights, awesome desserts, and the food and drinks are well worth it. And now I've got a souvenir mug to take back the next time and get some awesome $13 moonshine on tap cocktails. I would eat breakfast there. I would try breakfast there too. Overall, what did you think of Homecoming? I enjoyed it. Me too. It's definitely some comfort food. It was very comforting. I would definitely go back. We hope that you enjoyed getting to see our video of us trying Homecoming for the first time we've ever gone together. It was amazing. We've wanted to do it for so long, so definitely recommend trying it. If you're in Disney World and Disney Springs, honestly, like a must for me at this point now. I love it. Me too. So, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like on the video, comment, subscribe, and let us know what you think of Homecoming if you've had it, or if you want to go there and what you would get. And as always, thanks for keeping up in Disney.